Good morning from the Stitch and Post. I'm here today to share with you our new exhibit up on the gallery wall. And it's a super, super cool collection of quilts. So I'm gonna read to you this, uh, the challenge that these um, lovely ladies from Central Oregon Sakwa Association um, created. It is a series of six different pods of quilts, so to speak. Each one has five members, and this was called the Whisper Challenge. So what the first person of the group had to create a quilt in one month. They had a blank slate able to create whatever they chose with the stipulation of 18 wide by 30 in length. At the end of the month, they passed this quilt onto the next person in line. And the whole point was to be super quiet about it. And they had to respond to that first quilt. Once they were done with theirs, theirs went on to the third person and they responded to that quilt, et cetera, et cetera. So now after five months, all of these quilts are here today and I'm gonna take you through them. They are fascinating. So this is group one. I'm gonna start, I'm not gonna go through everybody's name because I would have to get really close to read. So I'm gonna just show you group one and through each, each series, I should say, each group, and just show you how the series completed. I'm gonna to try to get most of the quilts. There's the third one in response to the second. And here's the fourth in response to the third. And then there's the fifth of the first group. Okay, I'm gonna try <laughs> I'm trying to get around displays as I do this, but I want to show you all five of them now together. Look at that. Isn't it amazing? Okay, so I'm going to probably say amazing a lot because this is such a cool challenge and um, the whole thing is so inspiring to me. All right, here we go. Group two. There's the first quilt. Here's the second quilt in response to the first quilt. Here's the third. The fourth. And finally. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get around this display. <laughs> Show you all five. Isn't it so fascinating? I love seeing how the colors and morph and, and change based on each person's response. Okay, group three. There's the first quilt. Great color palette. Here's the second quilt. I love that one too. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at, there's the third. There's the fourth and the fifth. All right, here we go. Let's get back and see all five of them. <gasps> wow. Okay, I'm gonna scoot down now to group six as we're going along here. Okay, here we go, group six, first quilt. It's fascinating. Second. Third. You see such diverse personality and style, yet as these all come together, it is really, really beautiful. Here we go. That is group six. So cool, okay. Now I'm gonna go down. We're gonna scan across the top so you don't see the ones that we haven't seen yet. Here we go. Okay, group five. Here we go, look at this. <gasps> Isn't that yummy? First quilt. Second quilt. 
really neat. This third. And the fourth. And the fifth. Just fascinating. The development of color in that group, I think, is just really interesting. All right, moving on to group four, last but not least. Here we go. All right. Here is the first one. Lots of cool stitching on that. Here's the second one. And a response from the third. Fourth. And the final one. All right, here we go. Pulling back. I think about how this challenge also was going on for them all during the past five months and COVID and isolation and stress. And it's really wonderful to see how everyone has expressed themselves through this project. And we're super honored to have it here at the Stitch and Post. If you happen to be in town, come by and check it out. It'll be here through I think the end of November. So um, we hope to see you in here. And if not, thanks for watching. I hope everyone stays safe. And as we are rounding the corner of our election, please remember to vote. Your voice matters. We matter. Anyway, have a great day, everyone.